So after 20 years of teaching the trombone, I'm convinced that learning to adjust the slide correctly is probably the most important lesson we need to learn. Let's take it away with the first exercise and then discuss it further. <laughs> So did you see the micro adjustments I was making at the slide? This is of course essential trombone technique. Professionals will know about this, I hope. Beginners, I'm not so sure. Intermediate players, it's one of those things. It depends how good your teacher was. So what's the big deal? Let's quote a little from this famous book by Dennis Wick, Trombone Technique, out of print, but it's now available as an updated PDF. Part four, technical skills, intonation. The trombone has been described as the only perfect wind instrument. This somewhat extravagant claim refers to its capacity for perfect intonation by means of the infinitely variable tube length of its slide. By the same token, if it can produce the best intonation, in unskilled hands, it can produce the worst. Then comes a diagram of the partials of the trombone, the harmonic series as it's known. And then comes a second diagram with some arrows. Now these arrows are quite simply trying to demonstrate the tendency of that partial. Look at the pedal B flat with an arrow going down. This is showing that the tendency is slightly flat. Then comes the second line B flat in tune. Then the F, the third partial, arrow upwards, leaning slightly sharp the higher B flat above the staff, again in tune, and so on. We're only gonna stick between the second line B flat and the octave above today. Did you hit subscribe yet? Come on, support a trombone player. Wick goes on to mention the multitude of tasks, for example, in a symphony orchestra that are happening simultaneously, and that although we should be adjusting to every note in every moment, there's simply not enough time or too much happening at the same time to be to be able to re rely on this in the moment adjustment all the time, and hence the need for subconscious muscle memory. He goes on to read, this really is one of the secrets of being a really good trombonist. One's muscular movements and reactions should be so well practiced that they can be depended upon completely and become instinctive, second nature. Accurate slide positioning then must depend primarily upon muscular memory, evolved from intensive practice of scales and long notes. He says scales and long notes, what about natural slurs? For me, this makes more sense, practicing natural slurs. That's why I made these drone tones over seven positions so that you can really have some time with a good fundamental to practice these micro adjustments. So a great way to physically see these tendencies on the trombone is simply to turn on a tuner, for example. I'm gonna find the low note the, from the B flat downwards until it's in tune, and then I'll go up to the higher partial without changing the slide position. You can see for yourself what happens.
So did you notice the basic tendency that the further out I went with the slide, the bigger the tolerance got as I changed note? I know it wasn't completely proportional, and that shows the next point I'm going to make, which is that each instrument in each play will have his own tendencies. <laughs> but here's the final quote from Dennis Wick on this point, just to explain it in a more scientific way. The principle on which the trombone is based, that of the extending slide increasing the overall tube length, thus providing different complete harmonic series, works on proportional rather than fixed tube lengths. Each successively lower position is a little longer, although it still makes a difference of only a semitone. And here's the important part. It follows then that any differences in intonation in the first position become magnified and therefore more easily distinguished in the extreme positions. And so we can theorize all day about the changing of the positions, which is indeed necessary. However, you're going to have to learn your tendencies yourself. Just as an example, you see here my Canstall 1662, and in the background there the 1670. Now they both have this strange tendency that basically the slide is a few centimeters too short. This means that the E is right on the edge of the stocking, and the B natural is only really available when you lip it down a little bit. So go back to that first exercise, we're going just B flat to F. And if you if you don't do it already, simply remember to move slightly out for this for the middle note, the, the higher note, do he normal out. So I like to picture following visualization that the B flats that we use, the the normal range B flats, the second line and the one above the staff, let's call them a normal first position and the F series, both the middle F and the higher above the staff F, they are both a flat first position. So we've got B flat F, and we're learning this motoric to move slightly out for the F. Now that's the first task with this video. If you're really struggling to hear the right pitch and to find it at the trombone, what am I gonna say? You guessed it. Sing the damn thing. Do you sing it over my drone? You'll kind of lock in. If you don't find it, then gliss around until you find do. It's good anyway to gliss up like that with your voice, and feel the resonance of those two notes, the root to the fifth, as it were, five notes higher. This will help you immensely. And then, of course, get a flexible arm. As I said. It could be that the first few positions don't have this change for you. I would say latest by the fourth position, you should be adjusting. And this is another point I need to make. Sometimes I try and prove this point with beginners and ask them to do what I just did with the tuning machine. And they get them all bang in pitch of the first four positions, but often they're pressing did you see how I was pressing the lips to get to the higher note there to the E flat? That's a typical tendency anyway when going up. So check that you're not doing that. Keep your chops fairly the same, the so-called one embouchure as Phil Teal used to call it. Oh, ee, oh. Just um, stick a camera on or do it in front of a mirror just to see, am I smiling when I go up? You shouldn't be smiling much. <laughs> it should stay fairly stable for that. Um, small change of range. So be aware that any change of equipment, especially mouthpieces, is going to have an effect on your intonation. So I would really recommend for the beginner intermediate player to first get to grips with one set of equipment options, one trombone and one mouthpiece, and really master that before you start fiddling around with, with too much doubling. As much as I enjoy it, each combination has different tendencies. A bigger mouthpiece, for example, is likely to be a little more dull when you make that fifth leap. So the F and the E and the E flat, that might be a little on the lower side as if you get quite big with the mouthpiece. On the contrary, if you get a really small mouthpiece, 
it's likely to be pushing too sharp for the higher notes. So be aware of that and note down changes as you change your equipment. So now the second play along exercise, we are gonna extend the range up to the higher B flat. So we've got in first position, B flat, F, B flat, F, B flat. Just be aware to move slightly out for the F. Just a small tip here. Do you see my thumb here? Now, I use the thumb as a kind of resting position just to slightly push against when I go to the F. It's such a micro adjustment. It, it may only be one or two millimeters. It may only be uh, psychological, but I just slightly push with my thumb and index finger for the F. It's just a, a useful kind of crutch, you might say, by second position, doesn't work anymore. Just something to bear in mind. So the final exercise at the very end of the video is just going to be the same drones with a slightly faster tempo but without any kind of drums okay so you get a count of you'll have four bars for each position that's just for you to play around with the positions until they lock in with pitch so hope this helps let us know in the comments if it's clear enough what further exercises you might like love to hear from you see you in the next video See, am I? Ooh,